as you can see, um, this is my San Juan Isla Verde trip. Um, this is the beach right next to our hotel, three blocks away, actually. Um, I stayed at the Residence Inn Marriott. It's a new constructed building right by the airport. Um, the beach was immaculate, beautiful. The sand was soft. The water was super warm. That's the first time I ever stayed in the beach and the water was so warm. Stayed in Hawaii, stayed in multiple places, and I just loved the beach that day. Um, it wasn't that much sun. Um, the days were kind of rainy, but the beach was beautiful. So that was my first day at San Juan. Next, we have the Bacardi uh, rum tour. I'm saying Bacardi because that's the way they pronounced it. Um, but this is the Bacardi rum tour. They actually give you a little coin here. Um, to get a free drink as you arrive. You can get a mojito, a pina colada, but um, I chose the pina colada. As you can see, we're getting a little van here to take us around the factory of the Bacardi where it's uh, housed and made. It's a beautiful, beautiful land that they have there. Many acres. You can see me drinking my pina colada right here. It was delicious. Um, they actually made us make... Um, Bacardi um, mojitos and pina coladas from scratch. It was a dope experience. Um, we use a special Bacardi that they only make in the factory. So we had a taste of that. Um, we made the mojitos. It was just a beautiful experience. Um, actually, that pina colada that we made there also was just so rich, robust. The taste was just different. Like I never had... Um, a pina colada that tasted so good it was kind of challenging in the beginning because you know um i didn't make a drink before but it was easy to learn so i enjoyed it very much um but we ended back up at the land at the end of the day and we played a little bit um and had another drink and it was just a beautiful experience so if you're ever in san juan east la verde make sure that you check out that uh bacardi tour it's a beautiful experience a lot of fun um you're around a bunch of people enjoying the experience um you get to taste rum get to see where they make the bacardi get to learn the history about the bacardi um it's just a beautiful experience that i think anyone should enjoy when they go to san uh san juan in puerto rico so definitely check it out it's inexpensive you could go on I think Viator is the uh, the website, and it was like eighty six dollars per person, so it wasn't bad. And that's the actual um, special drink that they uh, serve only at the Bacardi um, factory. So okay, the second day, um, it was raining quite a bit. That was kind of set upsetting, but nonetheless, it was a beautiful, beautiful day. Um, we definitely went down to the marina to do like a boat tour, but that didn't work out because of the weather. So we ended up at T-Mobile Distro, um, which is like a party area where they have like arcades, live music, restaurants, casinos. It was just a beautiful, beautiful area to check out. That's T-Mobile right there. Um, they have the casino there, like I said before. Uh, beautiful architecture around, uh, live nature around. You know, this was the same tree I saw in Hawaii, so that was pretty dope. Um, that was something different that I enjoyed, you know, anytime I see anything with Hawaii, I'm getting hyped, but, um, yeah, we was at the T-Mobile distro. That's my wife. And it was just an amazing experience. Um, really fun. The live music was playing for the kids. Um, we played basketball at the arcade there. We checked out a few drinks and that was great. The same day we ended up at La Placita, which is one of the, I think that was the best place I've been to in um puerto rico it's in san juan and it's just an open area with open bars they have hookah there they have chucharon which is like a fried chicken or fried pork it was delicious i think they had the best mojitos there by far you know it's just a beautiful experience um that we had that day it was such a party area i am an old guy so we got there a little bit earlier after t-mobile but we ended up staying there till like around 10 o'clock. People did say that around 12 o'clock is the hype area. I mean, the hype time for that area. That's when it gets popping. So this is around 10 o'clock, 
Um, and it was popping, but uh, I would have rather go there. Um, now, the this is day three. Uh, later We're times. at Old San Juan. Um, we went to the, I think it's called the, I think it was the military base. I forgot the name of it, but that was just a beautiful history, historic landscaping was beautiful just everything the view it was in the top of um old san juan so you see the whole area you even see east la verde you see the beaches it was just a beautiful experience to learn about the history of puerto rico and where the military bases was and um how they helped with the war and it was just a beautiful experience to have the fact that you can see the whole city was another great experience for me that I enjoyed. So um, if you're going to Old San Juan, definitely do the tour. It's like $10 to get in. Um, it's inexpensive, and you can stay there how long as you how long that uh, you want. They have a gift shop there, um, but it's beautiful. Uh, you get to see all those older um, you know, experiences that they had during the military times. That was really nice. So I definitely enjoyed that, and I enjoyed the breathtaking view that they have of Old San Juan. You know, that was the best part. Then we ended up leaving there and going down to Old San Juan to check out a few bars, um, which was nice. We went to Barachina, which was the first pina colada maker. This is so day three out. or day four, and I'm heading on the uh, ferry to Flamingo Beach. Now, Flamingo Beach, I've been to many beaches, and I think this is by far the best beach I've been to. Um, the water was just crystal clear. It looked like something out of a movie. Like, um, you could just see the different, it was, I like when I go to a beach and you see nature there. Like, as you can see, this was the entrance, uh, to the beach into the water. And it was just like something out of a movie. Like, I'm pretty sure they filmed a, a beautiful movie there because, um, it was just breathtaking. It was unrealistic. You know, I really thought I was in a movie. I was somewhere like paradise because it was just a beautiful, quiet beach, you know, clean water, crystal clear. You could see your foot right through the water, um, had the beautiful mountains around, had restaurants around. Um, this is by far my favorite beach. I haven't been to all the beaches in the world, you know, that would take forever. But um, so far, this is my favorite beach I've been to. Um, I would definitely check it out again. So if you're ever traveling um, to Puerto Rico, definitely check out Old Sa uh, not Old San Juan, Flamenco Beach in um, Calebra. It's beautiful. It's like five dollars to get on the, um, the ferry, and you'll have a great time to spend there. Make sure you get the tickets early. That's the uh, restaurants that they have around. They had some shrimp. They had chucharrones. They had everything there: plantains, mango. Definitely check out the restaurants in Flamenco Beach. You'll definitely, definitely have a great time. And that's the end of the video. Me sailing away, loving Puerto Rico. Hopefully you guys enjoyed.